I want you to stop making the mistake of confusing in and on. These are two prepositions in the English language that can really confuse English language learners. I'm going to clarify the definitions of these two prepositions and give you lots of examples that you'll need to know when speaking English so you don't make awkward mistakes with these two prepositions. At the end of this lesson, there'll be a quiz, so make sure to download the free PDF guide that goes along with this lesson so that you can study in and on and you can take the quiz with me as well. Now let's get started with the lesson. So typically we use the preposition in when someone is in an enclosed or smaller space. And we use on when something is on top of a surface of something. Let's look at a couple examples. This should seem pretty easy to you. The farmer is in the barn. The chicken is on the roof of the barn. It's on the barn, but we would typically say on the roof. The horse is in the barn. They are in the barn. That should seem pretty easy. But what about transportation? The driver is in the car. But do we typically say in the bus or on the bus? One rule that can help you with this is when we are in a smaller type of transportation that we are driving, we usually say in the car. If we're in a bigger type of transportation or it's a public transportation, we say we're on the bus, on the plane, on the boat, on the train. Now, the one exception to this rule where it gets a little tricky is when we talk about motorcycles or bicycles. We say I'm on a motorcycle because we're not inside of it. There's nothing over our head. Or we say we're on a bicycle. Again, because you're just riding outside and you're not inside of something. So remember, small transportation, cars, we're in the car. Big transportation where there's lots of people, we're on the bus or we're on the train. Let's go over some common phrases that use the preposition in. You can say in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. When you want to say what city, what town, or what country you are in, you will use the preposition in. So in the United States, in New York City. Now the only exception here is when we talk about the different coasts or sides of a country, we say on the west coast and on the east coast. For different rooms in a building or in a house, you're going to use in. In an office, in a kitchen, in a bedroom. You can also say in a bathroom, in a kitchen, or in a living room. When you want to talk about something that's located inside of an enclosed area, you are always going to say in the closet, in the cupboard, in the sink even. And just remember, if you want to say who or what is in a picture, you'll use in. So you'll say in the picture or in the photograph. You can even use this if it's talking about a painting. The person is in the painting. Now you're only going to use on if something is physically on the copy of the painting or the picture or the photograph. And obviously you would want to say something was in a book in a newspaper or in a magazine if you're talking about the story or what's written in the book. When you're talking about weather, you might say we went outside in the rain or in the snow or we played outside in the sunshine. We can say at the middle, but typically when we're talking about a story, we say in the middle of a story. We can say at the end or in the end, if we're talking about a lesson that was learned at the end of the story. Now let's review some really common phrases that use the preposition on. If you want to say that an object is located somewhere, you can say it's on the floor, on the table, or on the bed. If you are sleeping, you'll say I'm sleeping in a bed. We typically wouldn't say I'm sleeping on a bed, but we would say I'm sleeping on the floor tonight or I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. So in a bed is the only exception and it's only when we're talking about ourselves. When we're talking about hanging an object up, we say we are going to hang it on a wall or on the ceiling 
if we're talking about above our heads or on the door. So these three locations, we could put something on if it's hanging up. I'm going to hang a picture on the wall. If you are talking about something that's on a screen, you'll always use on. So it's on my phone, it's on the computer, it's on the television. You would not want to say it's in. That wouldn't really make sense at all. So I was watching something on television or I saw you on television. The same goes with on the radio. I heard you on the radio or I heard on the internet. I read on the internet. We could say I heard on the internet or I read on the internet. It just depends if you were watching a video or reading an article. So if you're watching this video on YouTube right now, make sure you subscribe and like the video. We could say I heard on an English video, the difference between in and on. A menu that you would find in a restaurant. When we talk about foods that are available at the restaurant, we'll say they are on the menu. So at this restaurant, there is macaroni and cheese on the menu. That means it's listed on the document. The same goes with a schedule or an agenda. There is a big meeting on my schedule today. And a schedule, of course, is just the list of things that you have to do at each time of the day. If you are talking about a location with a map, you can say it. it's on the map. It's on a globe. So here's where it gets a little confusing. You might want to say, where is Mexico on the globe? You could say Mexico is in North America. It's located in that country, but it's on the globe physically. It's on top of the surface. So you have to remember if you're talking about the surface or the location, because the surface, if it's something on the surface, it will be on. And if it's a location, it will be in. When you want to talk about being at the beach or at the mountains, you will say I was on the beach or I was on the mountains. But you can also say in the mountains. This is where you're driving in a location where there's lots of mountains around. But if you're climbing up the mountains, you'll typically say I'm on the mountains right now or I'm on a mountain. Two really common phrases that you should know are I'm on the way home, which means you're driving home right now or I'm on the road right now, which also means you're driving, but it's less specific to driving home. When someone calls us and we want to say, hey, I'm driving right now, instead of saying that, we might say, hey, I'm on the road right now, or I'm actually on my way home. Could I call you later? Because it's not safe to talk on the phone while you're driving. And some people get really confused about the two phrases in time and on time. If you want to say that someone is at the right time, they're arriving at the right time, you can say they are on time. That means they're either early or they're not late. If you say, hey, you're just in time, it means that they almost missed the time that they're supposed to be there at or they missed something important happening. So usually if you say I made it in time, it means you were in a hurry. You weren't necessarily early or on time. Here's a quiz for the prepositions in and on. Let's see how many you can get correct. Fill in the blank with the correct preposition, in or on. I'm going to meet my friends in the park or at the park. The correct answer is in the park. Now you're going into a specific area, so we're saying in the park. This can be a little bit confusing when it comes to the park, or a building because you need to differentiate if you're going inside of the area or you're going to meet them at the area, which means outside of the area. I left my keys in the table. I left my keys on the table, which is correct. This phrase, I left my keys on the table would typically be correct because you're placing them on the surface of the table. The only time it would be correct to say in the table is if there is a drawer and you put them inside of the drawer because it's in an enclosed space. So typically we say, I left my keys on the table. The cat is on the roof. The cat is in the roof. The correct answer here is the cat is on the roof. The cat would be inside of the roof if they're literally between the ceiling and the roof of your house. But how would a cat get inside of there? I don't know. 
Typically, we would say the cat is on the roof to mean on top of the roof or the surface of the house. The book is in the shelf or the book is on the shelf. The correct answer is the book is on the shelf. The only time we say the book is in the shelf is if there are doors that open for the shelf that hide the books, but we almost always say the book is on the shelf. She's in the bus or she's on the bus. The correct and most natural way to say this is she is on the bus. Remember for larger types of transportation that are usually public transportation where there's many people on the vehicle, you will use the preposition on. He lives on a big house or he lives in a big house. The correct answer is he lives in a big house. When we talk about the place where someone lives, either the city or the building, we say he lives in an apartment or he lives in Chicago or he lives in a house. We had dinner on a fancy restaurant or we had dinner in a fancy restaurant. The correct answer is we had dinner in a fancy restaurant. We're talking about being inside of the restaurant. So of course we say in. The picture is hanging on the wall or the picture is hanging in the wall. Remember when we're talking about a surface, even if it's vertical on the surface, we say the picture is hanging on the wall. How did you guys do on this quiz?